Hey guys, Ben and Ethan here from 8357 Tech, also known as Best Tech. We are going to give you a tutorial on how to install Linux Mint on a flash drive. Yes, we are using Macs, um, <laughs> just because of the ease of use to make this tutorial. Right. And uh, I'm his co-host, Ben, and uh, this is our new channel due to our last channel not being that great and not that popular. So, um, we've completely disregarded that other channel. You can use it for like simple, we're going to use it for like simple videos, stuff like that. But basically, this new one was going to be strictly tech business related and uh, stuff like that. So. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to go on, uh, on Google and search for Linux Mint. Yep. Dot com. Actually, you don't have to use Google. And uh, we're just going to go to LinuxMint.com. Yeah, we'll be, put, we'll be sure to put all the links used in this video down below on the bottom. Alright, so here it, go, here it is. Um, we're going to go to download, and then we're going to download Linux Mint 13. Because it's the better version. Yes, we're going to scroll down, and we like to use the Cinnamon desktop. But it's up to you which one you want to use. Yes, and I always use the 64-bit. Uh, the uh, um, so. It just it runs a little faster, so... All right. So when you go and click the download, it comes up with a list of uh, download mirrors. Just pick the one that is uh, the closest to you. Oh, and I do want to say, um, if you have a 32-bit computer, use a 32-bit. If you have a 64-bit, use a 64-bit. Yes. All right. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to... This, this is where we need to go to Google for sure. Um, I use Google Chrome, so I don't have to type in Google. But... Um, we're going to go on here, and we're going to type in UNET boot in. And there's the link and right there. I've pulled it up. It's UNET boot in dot sourceforge dot net. Which we will provide in the description. All right. It comes up. And then you it choose. It gives you an option to download for Windows, Linux, or Mac. I obviously chose Mac. And it shows you at the top here what distributions it supports and all that stuff. All right. So, now we get on here to our downloads. And, and I'm going to open up UNET boot in. And I'm going to do the same to show you that I have it as well. Give me just one sec. It's going to ask you for that password. All right. Type in my password. Now, we're going to click disk image. And we want to leave this as ISO. All right. All right. Now we go to our home folder. Home folder and it and should be in your downloads. Yes, downloads. All right, now, it downloaded as Linux Mint 64-bit ISO. That's right. probably going to have a bunch of text now in there. Click open. You definitely want to make sure you select your disk. Um, I, mine's the only USB drive that I have. Whereas right, so with me, I have three partitions, but we'll talk about that later. Yes, so now we're going to click OK. See, guys. It goes um, through, and it, it pulls all the files. And then it will install a bootloader onto it, and then uh, Stuff we like will that. show you. Basically, we're going to let this run through, and uh, we'll come back in a little while. So, yeah, just want to give you some insight. Yeah, this takes just a couple minutes, um, and, and it, it does not get stuck on file 178, don't worry. If it looks like it's frozen, um, that's normal. I've been through that a thousand times. Um, as it just, it takes a while. Because so. of how big this image is. So, we'll come back. Um, okay, guys. It uh, it went ahead and finished right after I cut the video. It's kind of funny. Um, now we're just going to click exit. And I'm going to reboot my computer. Let's show you that it does work. All right. Now, I have to hold down option. You have to do that on Mac to pull up the, uh, the boot selection. And um, so as we're waiting for this to come up. Um, it's going to be the one that says EFI boot, or if you're on a uh, Windows computer, it will be uh, your uh, USB. Yeah. And um, now this is going to load. It's actually a lot quicker than most Linux distros are. For example, um, say Gentoo, for example, that takes longer to load than this one does. Yes. Um, another thing I want to point out is the fact that I will not be installing it on my computer. Um, We're just giving you that. I'm just going to have it on my flash drive. That way I can 
it's portable. I can take it to different computers. And stuff. I'm running on whatever I want. Now, it's up, and we are uh, we're in Linux Mint. As you can see here, it does say install Linux Mint. But um, we're not going to do that. And it has a home folder. Now, we are not going to be installing it. We will make another video later. To show you that on like, my desktop or something upstairs. Yeah, we'll, we'll show you how to our, do that in a little bit. On a PC. So, great thing about having a portable uh, operating system is that Man. you don't have to install it. You can leave it on the flash drive. I have a 16 gig flash drive, so I have a lot of space on there. As do I. Um, I can also just run it straight off of that. I don't have to um, install it at all on any computer. I can just use the flash and, drive um, as a hard drive. Um, it ends up being kind of fun because let's say my computer dies because I have 8% battery left. Um, let's say it dies, I can go in and plug it into anybody else's computer and run my Linux operating system right off of it. Right. So and all my files will be portable. All right, this has been a 8357 Tech production. Thank you very Peace much. Peace out.